JavaScript has a unique way of handling asynchronous tasks, which is why understanding how microtasks work is crucial when dealing with promises, event loops, and other asynchronous behaviors. In this video, we are going to explore the concept of the microtasks queue in JavaScript, focusing on how promise handlers like .then, .catch, and .finally work behind the scenes. We'll break it down, see why certain code executes out of order, and also learn how you can control the sequence of events. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how microtasks play a vital role in JavaScript's asynchronous operations. So what are microtasks? Microtasks are a type of task that is queued in JavaScript to handle asynchronous operations. When promises are resolved or rejected, their dot .then, dot .catch, or dot .finally handlers do not execute immediately. Instead, they're placed into a microtasks queue to be executed later when the JavaScript engine is free. This queue operates in a first-in, first-out order, meaning that tasks added first will be executed first. However, the key point to remember is that microtasks only execute when the current JavaScript execution stack is empty, which means no other code is running. So let's start with a simple example to illustrate how the microtasks queue works. What do you think will happen when this code runs? You might expect to see promise done first, since the promise is immediately resolved. But when we run the code, here's the actual output. Code finished, and then promise done. Now why does this happen? Well, even though the promise is resolved instantly, the dot .then handler does not execute immediately. Instead, it's placed in the microtasks queue, and JavaScript finishes executing the synchronous code first, which is console log code finished in this case. And only after the current stack is empty, does JavaScript move on to handle the microtask, executing the dot .then handler, which prints promise done. So the behavior we just saw is due to the microtasks queue, which ensures that promise handlers are executed asynchronously, even if the promise is resolved immediately. This is part of the ECMAScript specification, which defines how promises should behave. The key rules are, first in, first out, where tasks are executed in the order they are added to the queue. And number two, execution only happens when the current code completes, which is if there's synchronous code still running, microtasks will wait until it's finished. So now, what if the order of execution matters to us? What if you want to ensure that the promise handler runs first and only then execute the rest of the code? Here's how we can modify our example to achieve the desired order. In this example, the output will be promise done and then code finished. By chaining dot then handlers, we make sure they're executed one after another, following the order of resolution. So microtasks come into play in real world applications when you're working with asynchronous tasks like fetching data from an API. Let's consider this example. In this example, fetching data will be locked to the console first because fetch is an asynchronous operation, and the dot .then handler for the promise returned by fetch will be added to the microtasks queue. The promise handler will execute later, once the API response is received and the current stack is cleared. So why does JavaScript use this microtasks queue instead of executing promise handlers immediately? Well, because this mechanism helps maintain the consistency and predictability of asynchronous code. By ensuring that microtasks are executed only when the current code finishes, JavaScript avoids potential race conditions and other tricky issues that could arise from running asynchronous code at unpredictable times. It also gives developers more control. For example, you can force a particular order of execution by chaining promise handlers, as we saw in the earlier example. Understanding the microtasks queue is essential when working with promises in JavaScript. It explains why asynchronous code sometimes behaves differently than expected and how the JavaScript engine prioritizes different tasks. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.